Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Um, as you can see, we have a uh, my main launch vehicle to uh, the moon. And this is how I get at the whole moon base. All of my, uh, well, my rovers were shot off on uh, different rockets. And uh, I just, you know, whatever. So uh, anyways, yeah, this is the uh, main launch vehicle for basically the main strut like the main core of my uh, moon base and uh, I would just I made a slight variation and put a habitation module in, in the middle and you know it got me all the way to the moon I also used the exact same vehicle to launch moon lab which I shot a few days ago um, so anyways uh, you might ask how does this have to involve rover construction but um, now one of the main points on rover construction is uh, you need to make sure that the leg length, you know, like with my uh, moon bases, um, every one of my modules, I just disconnected from right here and, you know, I put it off on the side somewhere, you know, and, and then I built like the whole habitation module and I basically attached the exact same module to the side again. That way nothing changes as, as far as the height everything's exactly the same now uh that it comes in like immensely handy because you, you just basically don't even have to worry about the uh the module itself being off center or anything like that and uh you know always make sure your symmetry is perfect so uh anyways i i figure i, I might as well show you you know partial rover con rover construction now um you know, one of the major things is you always have to make sure you got your docking ports aligned properly, and uh, you just need to, um, a lot of rover construction is based off of just using these uh, box struts. They um, come in handy. The uh, My second rover, not my very first one, but that one is basically all struts. Now I'm going to build like a really small rover for this episode just because of time and I am not actually um, paying attention to how much time I'm actually spending on this episode so I'll try to be as quick as I possibly can and that's never a good thing. Um, so let's get this thing out here. Once you get these planted you can turn on symmetry, the, uh, the hex symmetry so then it will align better um you know for a really small rover you don't really need much you need to make sure you have at least 12 panels on it um you know you, you put your engine on somewhere there we go and oh yeah that wouldn't do nothing so uh yeah get that engine on then you need some fuel and you can if you mess around with this you can place these inside um, place them in a spot where you can actually still click on them because if you need to refuel it'll be easier to click on something like that whereas if it's inside you have to keep angling your camera around until you can actually get a spot where you can click on it so um, these lights, I just found out, this light, the box light, does not actually light up anything. It, it's a really horrible light. Compared to this one, this is a long distance, long duration, um, you know, uh, light source. Where you can light up, you know, far, far distances. Whereas the other one is like, you know, pretty much worthless. Uh, come on. So, there we go. Yeah, and I always get messed up. Here we go. Um, yeah, we want two lights. So, I don't know if we should aim these down. I w I'm never good at placing these lights. Um, there we go. Uh, I think I'll just put one right here. Now, you need a satellite core module for the, you know, to actually have control of your rover. And, uh, you know, I'll put it on. The RCS, I usually only put three modules I never put one action pointing down I always just put them on the sides so you have better control over your uh, rover it's always good it's good for turning 
because on these satellite modules you don't get the best turning radiuses and you don't really get the best of um, speed depending on if you're going uphill and downhill um, your speed gets affected slightly not that you can't make it up hills but you know the lighter your rover the easier it is to make it up a hill but it, it always just gets affected so it's always a good thing just to um, you know plan for um, now these you want to put somewhere um, it's always I, I think I'd rather place my panels first so the solar panels oh yeah another thing I forgot always put a thermic generator inside these things that way if you ever go on the dark side it won't die uh, it doesn't really need to be in any kind of like specific spot you can just kind of place it wherever uh, I forgot who it was one of the commenters told me about this and I never use these things because I think it's like cheating um, just kind of like how when people use mech jab to play like I, I have nothing against you but I just don't you know you're like using a computer to play a computer game it's not like you should be able to do it yourself I can understand if you have like a two hour burn and you just don't want to like bother but it, I don't know um, so let's try to get this thing in here. Uh, come on. Stop fighting me. Uh, uh, parts like these always give me problems. So, anyways, um, I'm thinking about doing a space station tutorial on basically how to build a space station. Um, some of the finer points and certain things that need to be done in preparation and I think I just might have screwed up my whole uh, rover but whatever we'll figure something out um, symmetry 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 yes so yeah I think it might go over something like space station tutorial or you know, make some kind of space station extravaganza. Um, it, you know, a lot of people are really surprised at my Kerbal Space Station. So, I mean, I figure I might as well show you guys a little bit more on the uh, space station side. I don't think I can do this for some reason. It's not liking that idea. Um, so, yeah, now i got to basically rebuild the whole front again. But I'll just do it the easy way. Um, yeah, the, so space station sounds like a really good idea for me because I know a lot of you guys just, you want to build a space station, but you just don't know, um, you know, some of the finer points on how to do it and everything else. And, uh, yeah, it, it would be, a, you know, it probably, I'm hoping it would make it a lot easier for a lot of people, but, um, so let's slap on some wheels and then we need solar panels the wheels themselves like this is a very small rover this is almost like the same size as my first rover but it should be fine to land on the moon um, I, I would suggest to the launch your um you know how like i have the scaffolding around that's basically like the home for it i would suggest launching that first and then launching your rover second um just to be on the safe side if you're doing it for the first time only because um i, I mentioned in my other episodes that the things just fight you the whole way and it's so so much harder to do it that way and i've had to redesign these this huge home at least a couple times just because of that um, n not really that the, the parts don't match up after I land them, it's more of just, um, overall pieces. There's just too many. So, let's get some solar panels on this thing. I'm probably not going to test it out. I don't think there's going to be enough time, but, um, let's get some, oh, that's not going to work. Let's get some solar panels on this thing. I generally don't ever really have like a specific amount that I put on here. I just kind of, I, I try to make sure at least the engine won't be starved. And that's about it. Um, 
you know, this is looking a lot like my old Rover. To be honest, it's kind of taking me back a little bit. It's taking me back to those days. You know, back in the days where nobody knew about ion engines in those days. Back, back in those days when water was only a quarter. And I used to go down to the drugstore with my mama and buy her a pack of cigarettes. So, uh, yeah. We get these. Uh, this should be enough, but that's... That's 12, um, 12 power, that's good enough, it'll power the engine, need some batteries, um, this, I think, what, that's, that's 500 right there, what's going on, symmetry, stop playing with me, that sounded so wrong, um, yeah, so, otherwise, if I don't put the batteries here, I'll put them, like, right here, Sometimes I'll put solar panels right on the ends. It really just, you know, it it depends on, you know, your fancy. Um, I got the RCS modules. Or not, not the, yeah, I got the uh, thrusters, but I need the... Uh, yeah, that works. Uh, why does this keep going to three? Um, yeah, so, I mean, over this is your basic rover. Um, there's not too much else I need to add. Um... I could put some more uh, xenon tanks. Uh, the more xenon you have, the longer your duration. But you have to find a place to put them, to uh, you know, so you can access them and reuse them and refill them. I think sometimes these, yeah, there you go. Look at that. Would you look at that? Um, you know, I don't really like combining parts like that. But whatever, you know. It, if you're building something that's very super compact, it's always better to pack in as much as you can. And you don't, you know, weight is one of your major concerns. Not that it really matters, and I kind of just don't like how that's set up. But, you know, you, you just have to pack it in where you can just to get the overall best possible rover, you know, and your best design. You know, and I could just take them and put them in here. And I'm not going to do a launch or a test on this thing because, I mean, I know overall that it works. And, uh, you know, like to attach the rocket again, if I were to just reattach it, just I would take a docking port and flip it over and try to put it on the bottom here or something. And then just bring this piece up. And there you go. There's basically a rover and the station, you know, the main station core all together. I mean, this rover doesn't really serve me any purpose because a lot of them I put, you know, docking ports on the back of them. And I'll use those for, like, trailers to haul things around. But another really cool feature is with this design, too, is I can pull my rover up underneath. As long as it's high enough, um, I'll be able to pick up and carry this whole entire... Um, main core module was just this little rover and drive the whole core module around um you can see that this has a crew and after this lands i usually have a lot of spare fuel left over and i'll just undock these pieces and i'll just kind of slowly and you know try to land this on the side some someplace next to it and it has no problems landing on the engines or anything like that. Uh, usually the crews I land stay on the moon, so it's not a big deal if it this whole thing just it gets destroyed. Um, so, yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, thank you for watching. If uh, you like what I'm doing here, subscribe. Oh, I forgot one major thing before, I'm going, before I let you guys go. Struts are your duct tape. Make sure you put lots of struts on these things. You see how I have like millions of struts everywhere. Don't be afraid to use them. But I will say on these engines, these huge engines, don't put lots of struts because the more struts you put, um, for some reason, those engines don't like to be held down so much. They like to kind of have some play at the bottom where, you know, it, it can just kind of, you know move around and stuff because if you put too much structure structure on the bottom especially of like your main launch vehicles um you're gonna blow them up all the time and uh put a lot of supports on stuff like this because it's just it will it 
helps so much more at like near the end when you're trying to land and stuff like that you have such a small structure and it's just shaking like crazy but yeah anyways guys thanks for watching if you like what i'm doing subscribe and uh i'll try to put more rover videos out but i i really you know i'm kind of not fresh out of the ideas but i am you know i already have the rovers i need and the only thing i can do is cover on the rovers that i have so making new rovers isn't really something i'm, I'm it's not that i'm not going to do them but i'm thinking of launching rovers to other places one of them being minmus for now and i'm really thinking about moving more to minmus so but yeah i'm running on again like i always do so thank you for watching and uh, i'll see you next time